Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Seeky Racing, and I'm going to show you today how I set the camber on my Mugen Seeky vehicles using the Mugen camber gauge. But the first thing you need to do before setting your camber or checking your camber is set your ride height because as the vehicle goes through its suspension travel, the camber changes. So I've already set the rear ride height to 27 millimeters, 26 millimeters in the front. And then similar to when you set your ride height, you'll just take the vehicle, drop it from about six inches, take your gauge in the rear. I normally run negative three degrees, so I'm gonna set the gauge to negative three. Slide it over. And then you wanna make sure that the outside edge of the tire lines up or contacts with the gauge both on the top and the bottom. So I have a little bit too much negative camber in the rear. So I'm gonna just adjust this, rotate the tire a little bit. Again, pick it up from about six inches. And then you repeat that step until the tire is parallel with the gauge. So once you do that for the rear, obviously you check both the right and the left side. Then you just take the vehicle, turn it around. And on the front, it can be a little tricky because the camber, the static camber can change slightly depending on your toe in. So what I like to do is always make sure that the, the wheel that I'm setting is pointing perfectly straight forward. Drop the vehicle again from about six inches. In the front, I like to run negative two degrees of camber. So I'm gonna change the gauge over the negative two and then check it. And with the front, it's a little bit trickier with the pillow balls. Um, you have to remove the wheel and then adjust the pillow ball screw to adjust your camber. Um, but again, in the front, I generally run negative two degrees and in the rear, negative three degrees uh, for buggy as well as for truck. So hopefully this little tip helps you guys out and we'll see you soon.